was born in Bessemer, Michigan. It's a little mining town in the northern peninsula. My mother and father and eight children. The, see, I should tell people right off the bat, I'm not religious, for one thing. I'm not at all religious. And do you know, do you know what, what happened on Black Friday? The market fell to nothing and everybody was jumping out of windows to kill themselves because they'd lost all that they had. I don't know, we were lucky as a family. We held on to our jobs and believe me, we held on to them like grim death because we knew there were no other jobs to be found. As you know, they say, well, money is the root of all evil, but that's really not the, the saying. It's the love of money that is the root of all evil. Uh, I think everybody should read a lot of history. Everybody, I wish I had. Uh, I was just thinking about Leonardo da Vinci. He's such an unusual man. <laughs> Absolutely unusual. I would give anything if I could use a computer. Uh, you can get so much information anywhere in the world. I suppose the person I most admire is the first man who stood on the moon. Anyway, if you ever have a chance to read anything by Alexander McCall Smith, they're just little books. You'd better pick one up and just glance through it anyway. <laughs> Funny. Let's see what's of worrying. You should really tell that to people. There's no use worrying. If something's going to happen, but it all depends. If you can control the things that are going to happen, then you should use that control. If you can't control them, there's no use worrying. You might as well forget it. Because she said to me once, I'd kill anybody who broke one of my glasses. And I thought, well, how silly. Why did you buy them in the first place if you didn't ever want to use them? I would say I was never addicted to smoking. So it wasn't hard for me to quit. I used to like um, a, a vodka tonic, for instance, but I always had that at night when I was living alone and uh, the evenings would kind of stretch out and so sometimes I would have a, a vodka tonic with my supper. I have never been able to cry. I like, I like any kind of art. I think it's all interesting. When you look at a painting, you think, what, what was that person really like? What is she trying? What is he or she trying to express? Seeing another country is, is like an education. I often thought of FDR as being a man who was in, comfortable in his own skin, and another one was um, Ronald Reagan. Yes, I was like Ronald Reagan, you know. We should have paid more attention to the Indians who've lived, who lived here for many centuries. They're the ones who are the true environmentalists. Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> I think he was a great actor when FDR wanted to go to war against Germany. Maybe that war was justified. Why do we go into Iraq? They've never done anything to us, and they were not responsible for 9-11, because everything in the universe is based on math. Everything, even music. I'm not, I'm not afraid of death, but there's, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it anyway. Nothing. Mm. Well, I tell them to exercise every day. Do something. Get your feet off the ground and walk or, or run or swim or do anything. Just get your feet off the ground and go. I've been swimming every day for years and years. Um, but when you get to be my age, you know, you, you just swim like an old lady. <laughs> just like... <laughs>